This is Into Math 3rd grade, lesson 2.1, Understanding Area by Counting Unit Squares. In this lesson, the I can statement is I can describe area and I can find the area of a figure by counting unit squares. Let's review some vocabulary to help understand this lesson. The first vocabulary word, unit square, is defined as a square with a side length of one unit. Using the blue dots, I am going to draw a one unit square. Then I'm going to draw another one unit square and another. Now I have three unit squares that are connected. I can also draw one down below here. And now I'm showing that there are four unit squares drawn. Now let's look at area. Area is the measure of the number of unit squares, which we just talked about, unit squares, needed to cover a surface. For example, if I gave you the shape of this green square and I asked you what is the area, meaning how many unit squares are needed to cover that surface, then you could go, now knowing what you know, go through and make all of these unit squares to find out how many are inside the green shape, the square. And you would find that there are one, two, three, four of these unit squares inside the green square that we created. So the area would be four unit squares for the green square. Okay, please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 36. If you need to pause this video to collect these items, please do that. And when you're back, we'll take a look at um, build understanding question one. And as usual, as we go through reading, we will highlight and underline information that is important to solving the problem. All right, let's begin. Mr. Gordon's garden is in the shape of a rectangle. It is made from four unit squares. How might Mr. Gordon's garden look? Use a geo board and rubber bands and then show two different ways Mr. Gordon's garden might look. Okay, so I don't have a geo board, but this is what it looks like right here in the picture. And um, if you don't have a geo board or rubber bands, that's okay. We can use these blue dots and our pencil here to um, create some different views of what the garden might look like. And just a reminder, the vocabulary that we discussed is right here on the workbook page. So if you'd like to pause the video and give this a try, you're welcome to do that and then come back or stay along with me. All right, so they are asking us to create, to show two different ways Mr. Gordon's garden looks. They told us it is a rectangle, and we know that a rectangle um, has four sides, so we do know that information about a rectangle, and it needs to be four units. So again, you can pause this video and try it on your own, um, or take a look at what I'm gonna do. So I know there's gotta be four sides. Here's one unit, two unit, three unit, four unit, and that has four different sides to make a rectangle. I'll show you that here, one, two, three, four, and it has four units, one, two, three, four. So that could be one way. Another way shown is making two unit squares next to each other and two underneath it that would still have four sides and be made with four units. So now we can take a look at questions A, B, and C. A states, how are the figures alike and how do you know? When I take a look at both figures, I can count that there are four units in each figure. So that is how I know the figures are alike because they both have four units and I counted them. Now let's look at B. How are the figures different and how do you know? So when I look at the two figures, I see that they are different shapes and I have arranged them, the unit squares, in different ways. So that's how I know that they are different. Let's look at question C and underline or highlight the important information. 
Suppose Mr. Gordon wants to change the shape of his garden from a rectangle to any figure. So he's making a change. He still wants the garden to be made from four unit squares. Draw another figure that Mr. Gordon could make. So you can pause the video and give this a try um, or stay and follow along with me, your choice. All right, so in this, in this question, we are being asked to still use four units. However, it doesn't have to be um, a rectangle. So that gives us some freedom. So maybe I'm going to make this one here, this one here, this one here, and then instead of making a rectangle, I'm going to add another unit over to the right. So it kind of looks like an L shape. Feel free to create your own figure, and when you're ready, turn the page. We are on the next page, page 37, uh, looking at question number two. And again, we'll be highlighting and looking for important information as usual as we go through the questions. Marta is drawing designs for a garden. She draws the figures below. What is the area of each, of each design in square units? And A says, how can you find the area? And then they give us design A, design B, design C. And up here is a great reminder that area is the number of unit squares needed to cover a surface. And a unit square has an area of one square unit. So how are we gonna find this out? Maybe take a pause and think about it and come back. And when you're back, maybe you remembered what we worked on before about how we were just counting the squares or creating with certain squares and then counting them. So I wrote in, I could count the unit squares in each figure. Now I'm gonna do what I think is the fun part and take a look at each design. If you'd like to pause and do this yourself and come back, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, follow along with me. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, six unit squares in this design A. And in design B, there are one, two, three, five unit squares in this figure. And the last one here, design C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can go back and count them as well. So question B says, what is the area of each design? Meaning, what is the number of unit squares needed to cover the surface? So we can go back and we can write in what we found. Design A had six square units. Design B had five square units, and Design C had 10 square units. And remember, when we are writing the area, we need to make sure we don't just write the number, but notice that we're writing square units next to the answer. If you would like to go back and re-watch this video, please do so, and know that you can pause it anytime.